One topic on YouTube that's taking conversation by storm, particularly for creators, is what's called YouTube Shorts. And I was asked by a subscriber a question about how I record shorts and how I go about getting that and uploading it to YouTube. Well, I'm gonna show you how to do it on my iPhone today because I like to record vertical format shorts on my iPhone. Why? Because I like to get it vertical off the bat. As soon as I start recording, I wanna get vertical. So let's uh, head on over to the iPhone. I've got my iPhone here, my trusty iPhone. <laughs> You'll be able to see the screen too. Now the, the app that I prefer to use Filmic Pro. I like to use Filmic Pro because I can dial in the settings and stuff. So let's go to Filmic Pro first of all and just get out to the main screen. So you can see here that uh, I'm here. The first couple of things you want to do is make sure you've got your selfie camera on, which I've already done, but you can go into your Filmic Pro settings and, and fix that up under the camera. Choose the selfie option. Obviously, if you want to use your, your front facing, your, your back cameras or your main cameras on your, say, uh, pro models whatever you can see uh, if you look on the other screen here uh, I've got an 11 Pro Max here I've got three cameras on the back but now I'm using the selfie cam selfie cam maximum uh, 1080p which is perfectly fine for shorts I also check my resolution you can see 1080p is the max and the frame rate I'm gonna go 50 frames per second I normally do stuff in 25 frames per second because I'm in Australia which is the equivalent of 30 frames per second in the US and other parts of Europe and places like that, Japan, so forth. So I've already got all my settings dialed in. Now what I can do is maybe find a better spot here. I'm gonna spin around, maybe get some background in here. And I can, uh, this, is a, this is a reticle. I can lock in my, my white balance there. That's not gonna do anything. Now, a couple of things before we start is I want to hook up a decent microphone. So now the microphone I'm recording with at the moment is my Rode Video Micro, which I've got hooked up to my mirrorless camera here that I'm recording on. I can hook it up to my iPhone 11 Pro Max using uh, the supplied, well, it's a, actually it's not a supplied dongle anymore, is it? It's a, the extra dongle lightning to uh, a headphone adapter going through to the phone using a TRRS uh, plug, which I could show you in a cutaway, I guess. You'll see that there. And uh, once I hook it all up, then I'm ready to go. You can see uh, on the shot that I've got on Filmic Pro that I've already, um, I'm just, this one I'm just recording with the inbuilt microphone, which is, which on, on something like an 11 Pro Max, you could probably get away with, okay? And you can see the audio level's quite strong there across the bottom. So let's, record a little something. And keep in mind when recording that you wanna keep your shorts to under 60 seconds and you wanna make sure that you actually don't go over it or don't go too close to the 60 seconds. Maybe aim for 58 seconds is ideal. Uh, you could maybe wanna do it one take on Filmic Pro or maybe you wanna edit, which is what we're gonna probably look at in a second once we've recorded this. Uh, let's do a little something something here. Let's just get it reasonable so I get my framing right here. And uh, we'll go to the actual recording. I'm going to hit record. Okay, we're recording. G'day, Doug here. And I'm doing a video on how to do shorts for your YouTube channel using your phone, like I am right now, as a camera, how to put it all together and upload it to YouTube. So if you want to check that video out, make sure that you click subscribe to below or go to my channel using the links right down the bottom here and you'll be able to check that out and get all the, de all the you'll get the, and yes, you make mistakes. And you get, and you can get the skinny on how to do shorts. I'll catch you over there. Now that went for about 45 seconds. I did make a few fluffs, um, so but we're gonna edit that. So next thing you want to notice is hit the play button. The one I just played there is that top one there, it's grayed out, which is this one here. Okay, we're oh, it's starting to play back uh, there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just export it to the camera roll so that I can then put it into an app where I can trim it down, something like Video Leap. 
So we'll just send that to the camera roll. So we scroll up to there, say video. And that should be done. So now we're gonna go out of Filmic Pro. You can see in the Photos app, this last one here, 40, it says 46 seconds. You can see how there's a slight difference in timing, but that's okay. But that's in the camera roll now. I'm gonna jump over to Video Leap, which is also the same menu here. We can see Video Leap. Now this is a previous one that I did, so I wanna start a new Video Pro. You see there's a copy of some projects that I've done before just mucking around learning how to use Video Leap. I'm gonna get a new project. And I'm gonna hit plus and I'm gonna go find that video that I just recorded, which is this one here. Add the project. And you can see now if I tap it, the entire video is there. Now I made a flub. So first thing I wanna do is trim up the front end. Now the trick, the trick at the moment is the fact that, you, that I can't actually hear it because I've got lightning cable plugged in to my phone. Let me show you there uh, so that I can, there it is, so that I can edit. So I can't actually hear this to, to actually trim it, <laughs> which is uh, a, te a technicality because of the fact that we're recording this tutorial. But basically with Video Leap, I can trim the top. I can come back and drag the bottom and trim that in as well. I can find where I made the flub. I want to come across to where it says split and click split. And what you can see there is then we actually have put a split there. Then I can find, like put a split where we want to cut the start, cut the end and the bit that we want to remove, reverse out of that. So I'm going to edit this down real quick. And then once we get that done, and then I'm going to export. Now I can set my resolution here. I'm going to stick with my 1080p and my 50 frames per second, which I already have it set for because I've done that in my last run through. And then we send that also, click save. That'll export the edited version out to the camera roll as well. And we'll speed things up. And you can see we're done, that's exported. Let's jump out of Video Leap. Now you have two options. You can do everything completely on the phone. So for the first method, we're gonna show you that right now is where we upload the video itself to YouTube. We can do that by jumping into the YouTube app. And you can see there, we click on the camera at the top there and then upload video. Find the video that we just edited, which is this one here. And we click through and we can add all the details, give it the title. tutorial promo now first key piece of information is somewhere either in the title or the description we want to put the hashtag shorts I'm going to put it into the title in this case I can then add a description and say something that I want it to say of course I could put the hashtag shorts in the description instead in this case I'm going to uh, upload as private if I want, I can also add play, uh, add playlists and a location, which I'm not gonna do. Um, before we get to the upload part, it's also gonna ask us if it's made for kids and all that. Now, if I click upload, then that'll take me to a point where I can maybe add a, a thumbnail as well, and that will upload the video and everything else to YouTube. I've set one to YouTube already, and uh, I'll show you how I've done it. If we cut to the clip right now, it'll show you how I done it from desktop. Uh, but if I'm uploading to a, my YouTube channel, we need to go to YouTube. So we're gonna navigate in and we can go to just the upload video process. And then we can drag and drop our file if we wish. There it goes. And then obviously it's got a file name that we don't want to use. So I'm just going to call it Shorts Tutorial. I'm going to put it in the title today. Now I can go through and add a thumbnail if I want to. Now that's totally uploaded already because it was only a 32 second video. Got my keyboard sitting awkwardly here. You might hear a few clicks through the mic. It's processing so we should see something come up in here shortly. 
we can put in any description we want there add it to a playlist which i am going to add it to my short videos playlist which is what i usually do for shorts just because i have one um, i can go down here and open this up and whack in tags and stuff for this i'm not going to do that um, i will come back and put in a description later but you can see that it's uploaded it's processed the sd version and the hd version is complete i really don't need to do anything else uh, to that at the moment if we go next monetization because it's a short i'm not going to bother I'll turn that off video elements i can add an end screen and stuff now the end screen stuff's only going to work if uh, it's been played normally from say my uh, channel from channel page from playlist somewhere like that if it's in the shorts folder i don't believe that the end screens pop up at all this is just going to sit here in private until i'm actually edited the actual video uh, this video that you're watching now and i have it uploaded um, so we can go to visibility and we're going to leave it in unlisted save or publish we're just going to make your video unlisted and we're going to save that now this short video is still process hd version once it's become public once it's public it has the opportunity to show up in the shorts tab because it meets the three criteria which is it's under 60 seconds it's in a vertical format and it has hashtag shorts either in the title or the description i'm going to come back later and add a description add a few other little bits and pieces to that I might even give it a, a thumbnail for when it's showing up in a playlist or on my channel page because remember these still show up on your channel page or in playlists or wherever you may may place it regularly on your channel like a normal video so you want to account for that and that's why i say it's good to probably have some sort of thumbnail on it there you go that's how you get it uploaded from the desktop version of youtube so you can do it either way from straight from your phone if you're doing everything self-contained but if you happen to upload and do some editing on your computer then it's just as easy to upload from your computer to youtube now if i wasn't using something like video leap on my phone then i would probably import it into my editing software on my mac which is final cut pro and i'll edit the vertical video there final cut pro and a lot of the other editing software on, on, on your computer or your macs will do vertical video format quite easily. Now, if you're providing the footage in vertical, it makes it super simple and it's just a matter of cutting it up. The bonus thing is you could probably add some extra bells and whistles like titles and, and graphics and maybe a few other things that pop on the screen to make your short more exciting. Let's recap what the important things are to note to make sure that YouTube recognizes your clip as a short. You need to keep it less than 60 seconds don't go right to 60 seconds because sometimes when you upload youtube might add with frame rates and stuff might slightly increase the length of the video to uh, maybe 61 seconds or something like that so maybe aim for nothing more than 58 seconds just to give you that two second leeway the second thing you want to keep an eye on is to make sure that your video is in vertical format not a normal landscape video now some people have done testing including people uh, the guys at vidiq you can upload a square video as well the last thing you want to do is to make sure either in the title or the description you use hashtag shorts that'll tell youtube that you're intending for that clip to be used in the short shelf so have you started using shorts yet if you haven't give me a hashtag now in the comments and if you have give me a hashtag yes and let me know a little bit more information about how many shorts you've done and what sort of response you're getting is there anything about shorts that i haven't covered and you got questions about it make sure you include those in the comments below as well and if you want more youtube tips on some of the features like chapters make sure you check out these ones right here and while you're at it youtube thinks you might want to watch this video so maybe watch this playlist or watch this video well this is doug from doug use and youtube and I'll catch you later. Subscribe to Doug Hughes and YT for more tech for content creation.